If you think you have seen it all, well, guess again. It's black and it has some blue accents. And it has a printing volume of 300 by 300 by 400 millimeters. I present you the Trunxi XY3 Pro. Getting the latest news and information right here on Zachary's 3D Prints. Coming up. Hello, my name is Zachary and this channel is about 3D printing with tips, tricks, tutorials, how to review news, anything with 3D printing or 3D printer related, you can find right here on this channel. If you're new here and not subscribed yet, please consider subscribing and hit the notifications button to get the latest videos right in your mailbox. And thanks for being here. So, First, you had the Tronxy X2 and the Tronxy XY2 and the Tronxy XY2 Pro. And now you have the Tronxy XY3 Pro. I don't know about the XY3 because I didn't find anything on their channel or on their YouTube channel. This brand is known for their core XY 3D printers but also sometimes for some cheaper 3D printers. And I will also cover more of this brand here on this channel. So let's take a look at the exterior from this 3D printer. Swansea likes to use the black and blue colors on their exterior parts for their 3D printers. A solid base like some other brands are using. Within this base, there is the power supply unit and the main board housed. For the Z-axis frame, they are using a 2040 aluminum extrusion with a smooth close facing part. The X-axis moves by a double Z-axis stepper motors with a timing belt on top of the lead screws. Where the extruder is mounted, there is a flat cable with yes, 30 pins cable. But hey, if it works, it works, right? The print bed moves over a wide Y-axis base that consists of two 2020 aluminum extrusions without a belt tensioner. And on the left side, there is one USB B connector for connecting your computer or your laptop to the 3D printer. And there is also one micro SD card reader on that same side. No buttons, but a 3.5 inch full color touchscreen. Easy to assemble within just two steps. And switching on, of course. Easy to assemble within just two steps, says the website of Trunxy. But they forgot to mention that you also need to connect your 30 pins flat cable. No out to bed level, and this is done by hand with the humanized big nuts. Well, let's check off the specs of this 3D printer from Tronxy. The printing volume of this 3D printer, as mentioned in the intro, 300 by 300 by 400 millimeters. The size of this 3D printer is 485 times 482 times 643 millimeters and weighs around the 12 kilograms. The standard nozzle diameter is 0.4 millimeters. The nozzle temperature up to 270 degrees Celsius and the print bed temperature up to 100 degrees Celsius. Supported materials, PLA, PTEG, ABS, wood, and also TPU. Printing speeds between the 20 millimeters up to 150 millimeters the second. Recommended printing speed is around the 60 millimeters per second. The print accuracy is 0.006 on the X and Y axis and 0.001 for the Z axis. So some extras or add-ons. This 3D printer from Tronxy 
comes with the ultra silent mainboard, ARM high performance processor and the TMC drivers for silent printing. Better accuracy and more stability. Resume printing function after power loss and if your filament runs out, in both cases you press OK and you resume where the printer has left off. This XY3 Pro is equipped with a Titan extruder. Is that a genuine E3D Titan extruder? Well, it doesn't look like that, but I think they would mean with the mechanics of a Titan extruder. Everything is printed on a hotbed lattice glass plate. This glass plate has a sticky surface with some little holes like the Carbo Random glass bed from Cryality 3D printers. So the price of this Tronxy XY3 Pro are around the 399 US dollars. I'll put the link in the description of this video where you can buy it. So to wrap up this video, this great looking 3D printer from Tronxy, the XY3 Pro, a 3D printer with a very huge printing volume of 300 by 300 by 400 millimeters, which can compete with some other 3D printing brands. In this range of this printing volume, great printing speed and it prints different kind of materials and is quite affordable. Link, as mentioned, you can find in the description of this video. If you made it this far in this video, you are amazing. Thank you. At the end, there is an end card with some recommended videos that are worth watching. This video is supported by these Patreon supporters, Tony and Shannon. Thank you for your support. You can also join by supporting this channel. Check the link in the description of this video. Thanks for watching. Please like this video and I will see you next time. And hey, let's make some fun with 3D printing. Sakri 3D prints. Bye bye.